What is good, Ape Nation? It's your boy Stock J back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the one and only AMC stock and why I'm extremely bullish for the near term and long term futures. I'm also going to be talking about the hedge funds. What on earth do they have to do and about how many shares would they have to buy back of AMC for this thing to squeeze? So before I do answer that question though and talk about how many shares have to be bought back, I do have to mention a couple of things. First off, I'm not a financial legal or taxation expert, so I take this as financial legal or taxation advice. Everything in this video is solely for entertainment purposes only. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this is not only benefits me but it's the entire ape community as a whole and the last thing is if you guys can please check out the mumu link in the description if you do sign up you're going to be automatically entered into a giveaway to get an iphone 13 pro and you're also going to get up to five free stocks each with up to three thousand five hundred dollars so check out the link below if you guys want to sign up for mumu and with that out of the way let's get on with the video so amc the legendary amc the banger the one and only is looking really good right now guys believe it or not now even though it's a little bit down and yeah I see it being a little bit down, but at the end of the day, it's following the trend that we were talking about from a Wyckoff accumulation schematic. This would be the spring, and we're potentially seeing what could be the next test before the SOS phase really starts to kick in. And that, my friends, makes me bullish. But why am I so bullish for AMC? Well, it's the same thing that we've been talking about for so long, and I just wanted to give you guys a really good update on what on earth on the shorts doing. So first off, we know they're shorting this thing like crazy. As you can see, that the estimated short interest is 18.95%. However, I disagree with this because it, it's the bare minimum. The bare minimum is 18.95% according to Ortex. We know it could be much higher if you account for the entirety of the float because Ortex only reports 85% of the data, but this is pr like, how should I say, pretty accurate data, so to speak. So I, I don't want to necessarily trivialize it, but I do want to put it out there that we know about 18.95% of the float is being shorted. However, and that does bring me to one last thing, and that is there could be synthetics too. Millions, if not billions of synthetic shares that the shorts just keep on creating to try to bring the price down. That, in turn, in my opinion, means that all those short positions have to be bought back too, which means the short interest could be 20, 30, 40 percent, maybe even higher than that. And that means that it could be way, 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 way more than this and way, way, way more lethal than people think, which means AMC could go to much higher prices. But let's just go with this number right now, okay? Because this is the confirmed data, right? The confirmed data is 18.95 percent. So we're going to go with that and let's just do some math with you guys real quick. So the AMC float is 513 million, right? And then that's not counting synthetics. We don't know how many synthetics there are. There could be millions, if not billions. But look at the what the data is showing. Ortex reports that 18.95% is the short interest. That's still very, very high. Now, let's just pretend that the float is actually 513 million. It could be much higher than that. Both of these numbers could be much higher. But we're just going to go with the bare minimum. At the very least, guys, 18.95% of 513.3 million is 97.72 million shares that have to be bought back. And like I said right over here, that's not counting synthetic shares. So once again, over 97 million shares have to be bought back. In fact, it's closer to 98 million at the very, very least. That means that AMC still has not only squeeze potential, but even if they just bought back 97 million, that could cause this thing to go to the absolute moon. I'm talking about thousands of dollars a share. And then if you count synthetics, it could go even higher than that. That's what gives AMC the insane potential that we are talking about. That's why people are saying that AMC could go to, you know, tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands. I mean, I'm not going to give any specific price targets, but I'm just putting it out there that the hedge funds keep on shorting AMC. Look at the latest short falling percentage data you can see that there's still a relatively high percentage of shares being shorted right now the short falling percentage is still at 53 percent at least as of the last couple of days which means that the hedge funds these hedge funds are not quitting they're constantly constantly trying to short amc into oblivion they're trying so hard to keep the price down and if you look at this right now there are 4.8 million shares available to be borrowed that's the reason why if you look at ortex the utilization right over here we can see the utilization it's currently dropping just a little bit in fact it's at a relatively low phase and even if that's the case right now even if utilization is a little bit low it's just a temporary thing because eventually there's going to be a limited amount of shares that can be borrowed out. There's only a limit to how much they can short this thing. And days to cover, guys, it's going up again. Do you guys know what that means? The hedge funds 
are having a harder, harder time trying to short this thing, believe it or not. Look at the estimated short interest from the free floats. And once again, this is just the bare minimum. It used to be only 16.69%, but then it's up to almost 19.16%. And right now at the time I looked at it, it was at 18.95. So it's still heavily, heavily shorted regardless of that. So once again, the play is the same. Now, I do anticipate that something bad is going to happen to Evergrande, and that is the fact that it may go into bankruptcy. And if that ends up happening, guys, that's going to be really bad for short funds. Short funds, once again, these hedge funds, it's going to be really tough for them because they are borrowing all this money. They're using Chinese paper and bonds to borrow this many shares, to borrow this money to short AMC. And they they tend to use that as collateral. So imagine how tough it's going to be for them when they keep on trying to short AMC, but they're having less and less and less streams to actually short it with. So what I'm trying to say is that the hedge funds are suffering right now. Believe it or not, you might see AMC in the red, but they're suffering. They're tricking you. It's kind of like a poker game. Imagine you're playing poker against someone and they're kind of like bluffing. They're trying to tell you that, oh, we have the better hand. We're stronger. I'm like, do you really have the better hand? Because how come you have to buy back all these shares? We know you have to. They have to buy back all these shares. They're trying to scare you. The play has not changed. Once again, it's a squeeze play. It has the squeeze potential. So and here, here's the way I, I kind of see it, guys. I, I, I totally understand if you're kind of frustrated with the way AMC has been trading quite recently. We've just seen it in the same channel for so long and we're waiting for the next move. It seems like it's long overdue. I understand that. But my my argument and what I'm trying to tell you is that when it comes to AMC, I'm not putting in money that I can't afford to lose. I'm not just taking out all the money that that's going to be needed for rent or to pay for a funeral or anything like that and just putting it all into AMC. You should not do that. You also shouldn't go all in on one play unless you want to. You're free to do that. And I can't give financial advice, but I'm just putting it out there. So when it comes to AMC, like the way I see it is it's like a high interest savings account. You basically put the money in, you wait, and then you should be rewarded. That's how I see it because I don't plan on selling my AMC even if we see a, a big run up to like the 50s again, the 60s. I'm not selling there, guys. I know why I'm in this play and I know why you guys are in this play because we want very, very high returns and we know this thing has the potential to do it. It's just a matter of when. And the truth is, and the honest truth is that no one truly knows exactly when this thing will squeeze. We just know that it's going to squeeze. And the longer we wait, the closer and closer we're getting to the mother of all short squeezes. So I believe in AMC. I'm sure you guys believe in AMC too. Give it the time it needs, guys. And this thing is going to the moon. I'm very, very bullish. And these hedge funds are trying to scare you. Are you going to let them scare you? Because they're not scaring me. The more they drop AMC, the more I am going to be buying because I know this thing is going to the moon. I'm very bullish. Give it some time and AMC will have the squeeze potential. Thank you and peace out.